Hey, Globy, have you ever wondered how flowers are pollinated? Oh. What's pollination? Pollination is the process of moving pollen. All flowers and about 75% of plants need to be fertilized in order to reproduce or create more flowers and plants. Insects and birds carry the pollen on their legs from one flower to another flower. As the pollen drops into the flower, fertilization occurs and the plant forms a new seed. So insects such as honeybees and other animals like bats and birds play an important role in our ecosystem as pollinators. In this show, we're going to concentrate on honeybees. Honeybees are a part of a large group of arthropods called insects. All insects have six legs, one pair of antennae, three body sections, and wings. Honeybees actually have two pairs of wings and five eyes. The honeybee can fly about 32 kilometers per hour, which is the same as about 20 miles per hour. Did you know that honeybees have been on Earth for about 30 million years? A bee's habitat is very large. It includes the place where the bee lives and the fields and forests where the bee searches for flowers. Honeybees live in beehives that can hold as many as 50 to 70,000 bees. If these bees were people, that would fill up an entire football stadium. Bees actually are very important to our food system. Richard Antcliff works for NASA, and he's also an amateur beekeeper. Uh, about 30% of what we eat is actually dependent upon bees because they pollinate the plants. So all of the apples and fruits and vegetables that we eat are uh, dependent upon the pollination of the bees. And what I heard a couple of years ago was that uh, bees were starting to decline in the country. There was a real concern about that. And so I decided to take up beekeeping myself to help uh, build up the population. And frankly, they're a lot of fun. They're kind of like a lot of pets. You know, a typical beehive will have 60,000 bees. So I have 60,000 pets. Wow, would you want to be around that many honeybees all at once? Uh, okay, that was just a bad joke, sorry. Honeybees help pollinate approximately 130 agricultural crops in the United States each year. This represents more than 90% of all commercial crops. Some of these crops include berries, apples, cherries, oranges, watermelons, nuts, and vegetables. These crops even feed cows, which in turn produce milk and ice cream for us. So you can see how important honeybees are to humans. But unfortunately, the population of the honeybee in North America is declining. There are fewer bees here than there were in the past, and scientists aren't exactly sure why. Let me explain one of the reasons scientists think the honeybee is dying. Honeybees feed all year off the honey they produce in the spring. One of the main ingredients for honey is a sugary liquid called nectar. Nectar is produced by plants and flowers, and honeybees collect this nectar and then bring it back to the beehive where they use it to make honey. Unfortunately, nectar is only produced by flowers at certain times during the year. Honeybees have an internal instinct that tells them when to go out and collect this nectar. But here's the problem. Our Earth is experiencing climate change. Things are warming up, so each year, the flower's production of nectar starts a little bit earlier than the year before. In the Northeast, for example, flowers produce nectar about one full month earlier than it did back in the 1970s. So honeybees get confused by this changing time, and they usually end up with less time to collect the nectar. This results in the honeybee collecting less nectar than it needs to. The less nectar, the less honey. The less honey, the less food the honeybee has all year long. This lack of honey adds stress to the honeybee, and the end result is that we are seeing the number of honeybees get smaller. Bees in the wild are disappearing very, very fast. We're not seeing bees in trees anymore or out in the open anymore. So it's important for people to actually get into beekeeping such that we have enough bees in order to have the population to do the pollination. Fortunately, NASA is trying to help solve the problem. NASA is using satellites to measure climate change and predict the time when the flower's nectar production will begin. NASA is also partnering with beekeepers in the United States to help with this study. The beekeepers are weighing their beehives to determine how much honey is being produced by the honeybees. If the honeybees are making a lot of honey, that means the beehives will weigh more. But it also means the honeybees are getting to the flower's nectar in time in order to make the honey in the first place. The beekeepers become citizen scientists and submit the information about their beehives to a website at Goddard Space Flight Center called Honey Bee Net, so NASA and other beekeepers can track whether or not honeybees are collecting the nectar they need to survive. It's amazing how humans, animals, and insects are all dependent on each other to survive. Without the little honeybee, our crops would be much smaller, 
and we would not have as much food to eat. Wow, Globy, let's hope that NASA and beekeepers across our country work busy as bees to help solve this problem of the declining honeybee population.